Hello and welcome to another FS19 map first look. This time we're taking a look at six ashes. So we're in the shop to start with. Plenty of space in here and it's a new Holland dealers for once. Which I approve of. So we'll start with a blue Land Rover this time for looking around. See in front of us we've got these stables there. I've turned the traffic off. Let's spin me down the side there. We'll have a good look around and see what it's like. So I started a few maps on the channel recently but struggled to get into uh, some of them hence why they've ended fairly quickly and not been on again. The videos. Absence of live streams due to uh, work based problems. But on with this map. So we're gaining height as we're going up here we should be heading towards the dairy farm. Come up here, we should come across a track to the dairy. See, we've got one field there for livestock. Good look across that way. We'll have a look at how the dairy farm is laid out. Can't mistake it as a dairy farm by its name, it's called the other. Seem to have a nice assortment of buildings up here. Let's have a look around them. Got a milk tank there, clamp there. Some storage buildings up here as well. Decent sized yard. Room for big machinery or small, your choice. Good sized workshop. Definitely no shortage of building space. Big drive through storage building here as well. And onto the cow shed there. So all nicely laid out. Stretch a big field. So if you want to do dairy, you have got a nice yard here to start that in. Down the other way now. Head towards the edge of the map if you turn right out of here. It's not somewhere we particularly want to go at the moment. Decent sized gateways. It's not too tight to get into them, they're singles, but we should be able to get in alright with the road widths near them. Okay, they set back. <laughs> 
So we will head in this direction. And have a look at some of these cell points. I've got the depth of field fog on at the moment, so it's not too clear into the distance. So a really decent sized style yard there. Nice little barn tucked in there. Out of the way. You don't want to do horses, we've got plenty of space for that. As you can see. <clears throat> Just loops around and comes back out onto the main road. Here we have cell points and fuel station. So that's cell points up there. We'll try and find the edge of the map. Dairy down there. And at some point over here we should hit into the edge of the map. So somewhere around there, it's nicely hidden. So nice to see it well just hidden down there, so you can't see any sort of painted boundaries or anything like that. And it leads us down there on these little back roads. all down this way. It's a nicely laid out map, good selection of field sizes and shapes. Nothing what could be described as uh, regular shaped on here. Fly up down there. Should bring us down towards the farm. So we hop over into here. We have a farmyard. So that'd be the pig farm. <coughs> fuel tank there. Small little field out back. Small selection of buildings in here. Pineview Farm. We just run back up this way. Come to our accommodation. Along with workshop at the back here. Just a few little buildings. Garage there. So 
something not quite right there, that door. No, it's just a prop, but uh, if you don't go up into it, it's not so bad. Just see the roof there. Or through the roof, I should say. the main yard out at the moment to head through the ford. It's a really nice variety of fields so whether you want big machinery or small machinery you should be able to find something you want on there. Head back this way. So hedges do not have collisions on, which I know will please a lot of people. I know it annoys some people, yet others aren't bothered by it. Farmyard up here. So double gates on this one. Nice barn here. Very nice big tall barn. A workshop in here. Some nice buildings really, different shapes and sizes. Some nice storage, nice silos there. It's a nice little yard this one. The wooden frame building there. Very nicely laid out. Just jog across the other side of the road there. We have another little yard, another silo in it, some more little buildings over here. running up here. You have some silos, buy points and sell point as well. It's another reverse in job. There's no driving through there. Looks to be a very, very nice map. So I'm not going to show everything off, obviously. So just to come out of here now. And we'll head up to where the machinery is. Really odd shape fields in places, which keeps it interesting. So heading up this way now. <clears throat> Go 
brings us to the other farmyard. And more importantly, sheep farm again. So, horse yard. Was a cheap farm, definitely all shards. So everything is interconnected as you can see there. If we sprint down this way, we'll find our machinery. All blocked in in various places down here. Run down a little farmyard. Tucked away. And you'll find that it has got some colossal hours on some of this for starting machinery. And to get access to some of it, you will have to sell some of these bits off in the shop. So our combine is tucked up in the back there. Tractor has done 78 hours, but the combine has done 472 hours. The truck has done 186, so nothing is new apart from the uh, combine header. When you look in the shop, so to get these out, all we do. If we come into garage, we can actually see got new. We've got a tractor there, not worth a lot of money, but 78 hours. Combines there, <clears throat> 472, 186, zero, zero on that, and that, and that, zero on that. Then we've got these decorations. So if you just click on that and sell them, we can then get our machinery out of the building. Just a nice little feature if you want to start in the uh, in this mode. So this looks to be a good map. Certainly one I think we can do something on, it's got a nice feel to it. Like a lot more than I have some of the other ones which have come out recently. If we take a look at the overall map now. We've got very large quantity fields on there. When you come on here in this mode you start with field 51 and just field 51 which gives us that barn, the house and the machinery but if you want to buy more land price wise we are looking at 79,000 for those three big chunk in the middle at 463 you need to buy them singly or pairs or sometimes groups. It's a nice way of buying things. 266, 443, which comes with that farm down there. The outside of the map is zero price. Little fields there. 1137, all I would say is I would like to really to see that you could buy a field separately as to big blocks like this. You can buy little blocks along here. Prices aren't ridiculous on here. Buy smaller strips of field in there. And if you buy that one, it actually comes with a block of land right down there as well. So some are singly, some are blocks, some are pairs, but you take your pick how you want to buy them. But that's where I'll be leaving this video. So for now, I will say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.